Do you ever wonder where did the time go when playing Satisfactory? Did your cup of coffee evaporate because you were busy building hundreds of constructors? Are you a perfectionist with OCD, rarely satisfied with the outcome? Do you constantly rebuild because you feel something could look better? Then welcome to the club! After thousands of hours in Satisfactory, I would like to offer following advice. It's okay. Wait, what? Is this the best advice you can give? Well, here is more. I'd like to invite you to embrace imperfection and find out which type of satisfactory player you are on following examples. Efficient Aesthetic Efficient Aesthetic Efficient Hmm, let's just call it existentialism. The truth is, there is eternal struggle in satisfactory. One hidden from plain sight. The player is always given a choice how much time to spend on building factories and how much time to spend on making them look great. Or just... presentable. You could argue what's the big deal since you can build something to be efficient and good looking too, right? Consider the following perspectives. First, the time spent trying to make a factory look great is the time not spent on factory growth in regards to items being produced. Just think about thousands of bolted iron plates that could have been but never made it. Also, someone might enjoy building mega factories more than making them look great. Recently, I realized I'm such a player. God was I hyped for update 5. I watched every dev stream every new reveal video, I even recorded my reaction to the launch stream of the update. And once I reviewed the footage, I decided not to use it. When I looked at the video, one thing became very obvious. I looked disappointed. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Coffee Stain did not deliver. Actually, quite the opposite. My disappointment came from me not having new factory parts to make, me not having to make calculations and logical decisions while trying to figure out how to create production lines for new complex parts. The more I was in love with planning and complexity, the more I felt disappointed there is nothing new to plan. Except for the train signals of course, that was fun. Another perspective is obsession with efficiency. What is efficiency in the first place, I wonder? Is constructor having 90% efficiency inefficient? Are idle production lines inefficient because leftover items could have been sunk to obtain fixed coupons? And more importantly, am I as a pioneer inefficient because sometimes I spend time decorating the factory or exploring the wilderness instead of making the factory grow? In summary, here is what I think. I consider games to be the highest form of art. And when I visit an art gallery, I always find myself naturally drawn towards abstract art. I like to think that's what I do in Satisfactory. I create art. Foundations are my canvas. Machines are paint. While there is something utterly satisfying about right angles and perfect curves, something worth of sacrificing efficiency for the sake of pleasing the eye, ordered chaos does it too. That's why you will find me clipping the hell out of conveyor belts and pipes with no shame at all. No shame at cooking spaghetti as true abstract expression of intertwined belts. Yet, there is always another part of me that sometimes comes alive. OCD part, the perfectionist, that has to do minor changes several times over and over again to achieve a barely satisfying result. I think you can relate. I hope. Because I feel every satisfactory player has that part of him. The part that makes him care and be passionate about particular things in the game. That part that tells you which type of satisfactory player you are. That part I advise you to embrace and channel to your builds to make them unique.
maybe I got it all wrong. Or maybe, just maybe, I'm not alone. I reckon the game currently provides the right balance. It gives you the means to build beautiful factories, but at the same time it does not punish you for building your way, anything it might be. Maybe you sit here wondering what I'm bubbling about. And before you start to worry, I want to assure you, I still intend to build mega complex projects if that's what you came here for. However, I felt dedicating some time to talk about game topics I consider important could be intriguing too. If you found this video satisfactory, smash like and subscribe buttons as you would spiders with Xenobasher. If not, please let me know in the comments. And since you are the third pioneer that survived, here is the next thing I recommend to watch.